Okay, I had a, a bunch of um, APC backups, ES350s around the house with dead batteries. Batteries in these things never seem to last long. One, you don't get the run time you're supposed to, and two, the batteries just don't last long. They don't have a good life. So, when I flipped this, this uh, 350 over, it was obvious that it was made for a bigger battery. This chamber here is the exact same size as this 7 amp hour battery that I got from Radio Shacks and Intercell. Intercell. The original battery was about half this size and it was either 1.4 amp hours or 2.4 I can't remember but anyway you see this fits right in here I'll show it to you when it's all together but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and take the alarm off there. Now I decided to take this up through APC 350 and I'm going to put it on my modem downstairs so that in the event of a power outage I have power and I keep having internet because we have laptops which have battery power. Now, I calculated with this 70 amp hour battery that I should get about two hours with this 70 amp hour battery, maybe a little less, let's say an hour and a half, but that's still pretty good. But I don't want the alarm going off every 30 seconds like it's supposed to, so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna take the alarm off and I'll show you what that looks like. Sorry, I forgot to mention an important part, I guess. There's these little plastic tabs that stick up and they're, they're so that smaller battery can fit in this large chamber. So what you do is you just take a pair of pliers. I use the pair of diagonal cutters and I just, excuse me, I just snapped these little plastic tabs off so that I had a nice big chamber here. And I'll show you how that battery fits in there perfectly. Okay, so here's the transducer here with the hole in it and I gotta take that off. Now the proper way to do that would be to find out which pins on the back here are from the transducer and desolder them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers here and I'm going to try to pry that off without breaking the board. If I break it, nothing's lost because this was junk anyway or this is something I haven't been using. Okay, so again, sorry for the bad video. Like I've just said, the right way to do this is to desolder it from the back. I don't have time for that. Okay, I've got one lead loose. Hopefully I can get the other one off without busting any caps off or anything. Definitely don't want to bust a cap. There we go. Okay. So it came clean. Let me just show you where it was. Now, we are free of that annoying beeping noise. Hopefully you can see that. That video I know. See that little circle in there? That's where that little transducer was. That little, you can call it a speaker I guess. It's a little transducer. It vibrates and creates that high pitched noise. Anyway, that's gone. And I don't see any other damage to the board. I don't see any caps that are busted off or anything. So I'm going to put it back together. And then uh, we'll turn it on we'll, and I'll show you it doesn't have any noise anymore. Okay, so in case you don't know what diagonal pliers are, they're these little snippers. These are called diagonal pliers. And this chamber was obviously designed originally for a bigger battery, which is, like I said, perfect for this 70 amp hour battery. This is a pretty standard size. I got this from Radio Shack, it was $35. So, anyway, what I did is I bust the little tabs out of there. They're very hard plastic so you just you reach in there and you just kind of turn them and wiggle it back a little bit and they snap right out. You get it down to almost the bare plastic here. And I'll show you how that battery fits in here in a minute. Okay so the inner cell or the 7 amp hour battery fits in this way. Your red is here that's your positive. See how the red wires here and then you've got your black which is your negative. Now the, the lugs on this battery are just slightly smaller than the lugs on the battery that came with it. But it's not so much of a difference that you actually have to put in new jacks. These will fit right on there and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay here it is with the 70 amp hour battery and if you see it fits in perfectly. I gave those jacks a little, little slight squeeze on the side to make up the difference in the jacks and the size of the lugs. But anyway, so this is the 7 hour amp hour battery. And like I said, this case was originally designed for this. 
Now just because it has a bigger battery, I wouldn't try to put any more power through the APC device or the EPS device. Um, it just means you get a longer run time and you also get a longer charge time. But there it is in place and the cover, excuse me, fits right on there. You push this, push this one jack in just, just, just a little bit. And since I didn't do the best job in the world, fits on there kind of snug. That's okay. And there you have it. There's your working unit. So I'm going to take it down and plug it in. We'll see what it sounds like. Okay, and here we are. I've got it unplugged right now. Um, there's no buzzer. There's no beeper. This power light um, goes off, goes out for just a split second every 30 seconds. That would be when the buzzer would be going off. So every 30 seconds, the little green light goes out for, a, for like a second. But anyway, I've got everything plugged in that's important to me. I've got my modem, my Linksys. I think this is the uh, wireless Ethernet, and this is the uh, Vonage telephone. If you listen closely, you can hear the inverter buzz. But anyway, it's working perfectly. So as you see, my modem and everything's lit up and working. I should get an hour and a half run out of that. So, I took an old APC that the battery went dead, which they often do, and I upgraded it just slightly, just by putting a different battery in, a more uh, easily found battery. So, in the process, I've got longer run time. I took away the annoying um, beeper. So, uh, that's much more useful, and instead of throwing this in a landfill, I just, uh, all I had to do was put a bigger battery in it and uh, get the buzzer out of there and I've got something useful.